Now, but I'm pretty sure you all have heard of the big news from Kerbal Space Program. Yes, you know, on Friday, they finally released Kerbal Space Program 2 as an early access. Yes, finally the sequel to the very acclaimed space flight simulation game, um, Kerbal Space Program 1. Yes, that one came out 10 years ago. I even made a few videos on it building my own little aircraft, which is the point of this game, you know, building your rockets and planes and aircraft, launching them to other planets and all that stuff and crashing them most specifically. And so it is interesting that we now have a brand new Kerbal Space Program with better graphics. Look at these people building planes and live stream. Enter the generation of space adventure with exciting new parts, stunning visuals, fully revamped UI and map view and rich new environments to explore. Great. But yeah, of course, I bought and downloaded the Kerbal Space Program 2, which is after all still lacking from the early access disease. As in the reviews are very mixed here on Steam just yet. Yet. Lots of people are hating on this game for being a bit buggy. It's not very ripe. Game isn't worth it to buy at $50 right now. Whatever the hell. I'm just here to build some planes. Yeah, let's just go and press play now. Yes, Kerbal Space Program 2 indeed. Now, you know, on this channel, we have a lot of diehard KSP fans who have been playing this game for the past 10 years. And I'm probably going to make them feel very depressed when I try to actually review this game properly because I'm such a noob. I only have a few hours in this little game. So I don't even try to review it. I'm, again, I'm just here to build some planes. Yeah, it's just like three years ago. Let's start a new campaign here um, with a very easy difficulty. How about we do resources like infinite fuel and infinite power? That would be great. Yes. This decides on how difficult our building will be. And we'll not make it difficult because I'm the new. All right, let's just start the campaign. Whatever the hell. Oh, we've got a movie. Maybe like a tutorial mission. Uh... That's kind of cool. I will just skip that though. Great, thank you. All right, welcome to the base planet here. We have the station, whatever the hell. We can find a runway here, very nice. And we can also find the VAB, Vehicle Assembly Building. How about that? Let's just go ahead and just actually build our vehicle, honestly, now. All right, and here we can start building our plane, genuinely. And here we do, we have a few more parts here now, I think. Great. And we also have a few cabins here I like. And of course, the mission now is to build a damn plane. Um, let's just go ahead and actually just use the classic old MK3 cockpit module here. Shut up with the tutorial. Yeah, it's fine now. Look at this. You know, this looks very much like the Baron or maybe like the space shuttle. And let's just go ahead and just enter MK3. So we have all the MK3 parts. You know, things like the crew cabin, things like that. We can make this a proper airliner, just like the old days. I mean, okay, this is nothing really new, but you know, great. There we go. Let me add a fuel tank as well. Let me just, let me just a little one right here. Something like that. This looks like a train now. All right, here we go. Let me check out the aerodynamics here. What can we have? Those are the engines. We'll look at these later on. Very nice. You know, we can already start adding the wings here. Metamorph. What does that look like? All right, not bad. I mean, yes, the very little wings here. They are little. They're covering the windows, but who cares? Maybe add a little bit of a nose cone. Oh, that's too small. Yes, check this out. Such an airliner now. Add maybe like a tail section here. Yeah, like a cargo ramp. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Rotate it here. There we go. This is starting to look like a proper plane. Yes. Maybe the wing is a bit short. Let's remove one of the cabins. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> All right, we can already start adding the stabilizers. This is actually a very, very interesting process here. Um, I'm gonna do this. I add like a big vertical stabilizer. It's bigger than the wing. Yes. Um, this is a totally great idea. Add some, some control surfaces here. Looking great. Okay, this is a bit of a out of dimension looking plane. It looks a bit strange, but maybe it flies. Maybe it'll do. You know, this is the part that I can find. Um, okay, this is definitely gonna work. Maybe let's add some engines here, and we do apparently have new ones. You can check this out, everybody. A proper engine to sell here, just like the old times. Now, we're not gonna fit these to the, they actually do a Barry if kind of style here. There we go, add some engines here. That, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Why the hell not, is what I'm asking. All right, add maybe, oh yeah, that looks kind of cool. I like that. Some more intakes here. Reminds me of like the Ceres jet, look at that. Yes, everybody, let him cook. This is the new 737 MAX 11, great. 
So, I'm, I'm actually, this is actually looking pretty good. Uh, maybe let's add an uh, engine gear. We're already looking really good here, okay? Shut up. Okay, so, <clears throat> let me add a um, nose landing gear here first, okay? Looking great. Just add that here. That's... This looks like a proper airliner. Who's complaining? And this maybe... This is the hard part. How do I fit landing gear to the relatively narrow body here? We have to put it here to the wing, but it's probably... Yeah, that's what I was expecting. It's not reaching the ground. So that's great. Bigger one. Yes! This looks like it might just work. Great. It would be creative. This kind of landing gear. <laughs> Take off sidewards. Why the hell not? Hmm. All right. That's not too bad. Yeah. And actually, you know what? We're actually ready to launch, aren't we? We can uh, select the runway here. Runway one. Okay. I don't mind. Everybody, we're looking fine. All right. It's great. So, uh, all right. We have a bit of a weight distribution problem, I think. Whoa! Well, well, that doesn't matter as long as it flies. As long as it goes, it goes. Okay? Shut up. Things looking all right. Let's go ahead and just... Take off here. All right, come on. Give it full power here. Why doesn't it move? Move, you damn thing. Right, we might have a bit of a problem, I think, with propulsion. These engines are not too powerful. Also, we're kind of doing a massive tail strike. But everybody, let's come on. Let's go ahead and just um, look at these beautiful graphics. They do look all right. They look, they look better. I mean, it's not Microsoft Flight Simulator, but look at this. Okay, let's go ahead and revert to a VAB thing. This is kind of cool. A bit physics. Why here? We have a uh, center of mass here, center of gravity. And of course, that one is apparently behind the main landing gear. And that's why the plane is falling behind. Great. We might have to just put these wings elsewhere here. Something like that. There we go. And remove one of the cabins here. So just make it a bit shorter. That one will fly a bit better for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I think I might have found some better jet engines here. Yes. Check out this powerful boy. All right, maybe just put it in the tail here. I think that will be enough. That's great. We have solved the puzzle, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Time to launch this big boy. All right, there we go. Come on. It is already going full power. Is it? Come on. Yes. Yes, we're moving. All right, we still have an issue with center of gravity and the control surfaces are really broken. But everybody, we are moving. Okay, we've got rudder control. We have got no steering. Pretty much all we need here. Bill Kerman in the cockpit is doing very well here. Shut up, tutorial. Yes. Give this a look. All right. Oh, my God. Take off. All right. There we go. I mean, something I haven't been able to do is connect my joystick up to the simulator. So I have to fly with keyboard, which sucks. Also, the control. I have no uh, proper aileron surfaces. It's all just elevators here. And a bit broken as well while we're at it. Um, we might just crash into this building in a second. Let's put the landing gear up. Can we do that? Mm, yes. Actually, we can. Yes. This is a proper plane. I'm kind of proud of myself. I mean, okay, the control services are broken. Uh! I mean, you know, that's how real plane testing goes. You just kind of sometimes fail, sometimes crash, and then you can improve your plane for safety. So, maybe we make the fuel tank in the front of the plane. It's a shame that I haven't found a way to put the fuel into the wings, but this will definitely serve center of gravity. There we go. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Windows are a bit useless now. Here we go. Let me set up the controls here as well for these wings here, only to do the rolling movement. We're going to have something like that. That will definitely work a lot better. This one only does pitch. Looking great. Now, this big boy only does yawing. All right, there we go. We've got a finally properly set up airliner now. Let's check this out. Yes, and it can even stand without... Uh, and it still does a tail strike. Jesus, how heavy is going to be that? Okay, the engines are going to be very heavy now. Whoopsie doopsie. Looking great. No, it's actually standing up on itself. That's great. Maybe add some people here. Can we do that? Kerbal manager. Yes. Let's add him to the crew cabin. All that good stuff. Let's fill up the plane here. Of course, lots of test pilots. Here we go. Filled it all. Amazing. We've got a whole filled plane now. Yep. There we go. All right, let's launch it. There we go. Full power. Yes, check this out. We've got so many people here also in the cockpit now. These are feeling absolutely safe here with these elevators. Like, check those elevators out. All right, we've got... Uh, never mind, we don't have aileron just yet. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, we've done it. Oh, we've got a Pegasus. The people are looking all right. Oh! Everyone's dead. I'm a bit disappointed in the crash animation. Can we add some new color here? Maybe make it look like cool. Yes. Check this out. This looks so generally cool now. All right, my friends. Time to get going now. Full power. Shut up. 
I'm looking fine. These engines are definitely powerful enough. We don't have like a cockpit view or anything. So that's a bit disappointing. Ah, oh, it's not crash. Here we go. We're in the skies. Everybody, the, the Kerm people are doing very well. Okay, I cannot properly pull up. I have very poor elevator control. I have very poor control in general for the landing gear up here. There we go. We have actually taken flight now. All right, you know what? This is actually not half bad. No, that was a half collision. All right, come on. Let's put the landing gear back down here. So we can come in for a bit of a landing here as well. I want to try that. What have I done? This out. Yes, it can even pull some stunts. Even though this might just be the most uncontrollable airliner I've ever flown. It's me time to land it now. Come on, elevator. Uh... All right, come on. We're gonna try to perform a landing here on this taxiway. Just one landing in this whole damn video. All right, let's cut the power. All right. Come on, cut the power. Okay, there we go. We've got no flap surface, so this is as basic as like a Ford dry motor. It's got a jet engine. All right, come on. Yes. Oh, that was almost a, oh, yeah, a bit of a bounce. But we're landing. There we go. Check this out. Oh, God, I have no steering. Uh, all right, that, yes. Check this out. We've survived. We're one, yes. Everybody's happy here. We're losing a bit of speed here. Um, We can just... There we go. I don't have brakes. Just check this out. Very successful mission, of course. I mean, luckily for noobs like me, there are, of course, pre-built planes to download and, you know, proper rockets and, like, rovers and whatever you want. You can build whatever you want. Let's just load this one in. Check this out. This is a proper plane now. Let me fly this one. And of course, I've already said I haven't really uh, built up to the full potential here when it comes to this thing. Um, I mean, properly flying to space is where the strengths are of, of, of this thing. Come on now. Yes, check this out. We've got Bill here. Yeah, there's finally a proper plane. Let's put the landing gear up. Check this out. Oh, all right, I've crashed. It's not locked well. So yes, everybody, Kerbal Space Program 2. I cannot wait for new updates to come along. I want to lose the wing here. Can we do that for a second? Now. Nah. Oops. Yeah. So, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Well, thank you so much to all the people who give me lots of monies, like Mariana, Ragings, Junk in the Trunk, Mike, John O'Brien, Derek, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Kelly Chaos, Ryland Williams, New York, Shadow, Ignuana, and Moritz Bohausen.